Life is hard. And let me tell you, don't nobody owe you anything. You're born alone and you die alone. And in your life, if you're lucky to meet people who care about you, you are indeed lucky. People who really care about your interests, your best interests at heart, you're really lucky. People who really want to be in your life because it's you, not trying to change you, not trying to alter who you are, but as you are, you're lucky. And you know what? You are also blessed. And I want you to take time today as you're listening to the podcast of all the real friends and family that you have in your life that really love you. But stop the show. Unfortunately, some of us take kindness for weakness. and We are not appreciative of the great people who have come into our life and who care about us. The great people who have taken time out of their day to make sure that we are feeling all right. And it's unfortunate. Those are the people that we disrespect the most. Men do it. Women do it. Sons and daughters also do it. But it even hurts more when the person is your spouse, husband, or wife. Now, let me just tell you something, because when everything is going right, it's easy for people to be around you. You got money, you got gold teeth, you got them new Gucci sandals. Booty clapping sounds. <laughs> yeah, you looking good. But sad music, all it takes is for something to happen to you. Gunshots. <laughs> You get shot, you can't walk, um, you lose your job, and those people are gone. Bye-bye. And that's it. But let me just ask you a question. Stop the show again, Nima. What if you're at your lowest point and somebody comes through for you, even when nobody else would do it? How would you feel about that person? Man, I know I'd appreciate that. And that's exactly what Papoose did. Papoose is a mixtape New York rap legend who's a stand-up guy. From people that I've talked to in the industry, he is who he say he is. He's legit. and He's not about no BS. And when he was talking to Remy Mai, he would go visit her in prison every day. And that was despite being, at that time, the legendary mixtape king in New York City. He could have had anybody he wanted. As many beautiful women there are in New York City, especially with that being the hip-hop capital of the world, my man could have took anybody he wanted. But no, he chose her to his own detriment. And sometimes we can be loyal to the wrong people. But just so you don't take my word for it, I want Remy Ma to talk about how loyal Papoose really was. Pap used to come see me literally every single day. So I was chilling. That's I was funny. like, so he came up every day, Um, every visit. For the first year, he came literally every single day. When you're in a match, you have a visit every day. Right, except it right, alters right. on the weekends, a right. Saturday or Sunday. So literally every the first day. year, how he came every day. Hills from from um, it's about 45 to an hour, depending on traffic. So he was running up there every day, like coming up there. Yeah, to, like, I mean, it got to a point where I had to tell him like, yo, like I'm good. I'm all right. Like, and I guess like when he believed it, that that was all right. And I was like, he was like, all right, cool. And then he'll come like a little bit less. He'll come like three times a week. Or, like but you know, when Remy Uma got out of prison, and remember, she was a pretty decent female rapper before going in. So she had some clout. But coming out of prison, you know, things got different. She started dressing real provocative, you know, started showing the booty a little bit more, started going out and getting a lot of attention. And she was trying to make up for lost time. And my man Papoose, he was letting her rot. Didn't seem like he had an issue with it. And that's where the beginning of the end happened. You see, let me tell you something. And I'm not trying to say as a man that you need to control women or anything like that. Well, you can't control anybody because they're humans and they're adults. But you should be trying to control the situation. And if you're a person that has an issue with your wife dressing a certain way, or your girlfriend dressed in a certain way, that's something that you can't just let go. It just can't be happening like that. But a lot of times, guys do let it go. And when you let it go, it's all bad. So that's what happened with the guy. He let it go. And once he let it go, somebody else came and picked it up. And that person is this guy, Easy the Black Captain. Now, Easy the Black Captain is the guy who didn't put in any work like Papoose. I mean, he's a talented guy who's a young rapper out of the Philadelphia area. And you know, Remy Ma and Papoose had this company in which, you know, was like a freestyle company or mixtape company. I don't know, that was whatever the kind of company they got. And that's how this guy came about. But Remy Ma was spending a little bit more time than with this guy than she should have spent with this guy. 
And then what we started to hear is that man, boo the clapping sounds. <laughs> yeah, man. Remy Ma was sleeping with this young guy. And Remy Ma is in her 40s. This dude is 28. But stop the show. I mean, Papoose is your guy. He been there since day one. He's your children's father. He's always been a stand-up guy. It's his legendary hip-hop knowledge and him as an MC that even gave you the credibility to start the company that you and Easy the Black Captain are getting big in now. But how do you thank him? By letting Easy Black Captain do this. Booty clapping sounds. But at first we really didn't know if it was true. We know that during the, the battles they have, you know, other guys always mention the fact that Easy Block and Remy Ma are doing this. So we really didn't know until Easy the Block Captain put it out there. He admitted he's been clapping those cheeks. Play that clip. One, I did not get into no fight with nobody. Yeah, so it's just like, you know, as far as that, like, cause it's just how is that gonna work how is it gonna work though now like even if you go back with the ball right which all right i'll come out explain everything that happened you'll be each other you was cheating on ball such and such and whatever happens let's say love and hip-hop pick it up you all get back together how does now i get a bag you know what i mean i get a little bag i get a little check couple little you know what i'm saying such and such a you know what i mean i'm the boy that such and such a cheat i'm around now i'm a little i'm a little little bit so at the end of the day it kind of fit, you know what I'm saying? Like, it fit everybody. I did not get into no fight with nobody. I'm too comfortable. I should have knew me being in New York, me being in Ring Joe, and I know, which I knew this should have been plotting on me because I would have been doing the same thing. Yeah, you know I mean, this in the city. I did not get into no fight with nobody. No blood, no nothing. No blood, no scratch, no nothing. And he had two clean jobs. Two. Nobody has ever knocked me out ever in life. <laughs> in life, period. In life, period. Now, if you listen to that clip, it is clear to hear that Papoose he put hands on Easy the Black Captain for sleeping with his wife. But that wasn't the the issue, man. And I used to always understand that and think about that. Like, why am I so mad at the guy? The guy is not the problem. The problem is whoever let her do that in the first place and she's the one that wanted this young guy she's the one that's doing what she's doing he didn't make her do nothing she wanted to disrespect the marriage and the relationship but you want to blame the young guy and it's easy to blame the young guy and even hit him because i believe that you know easy the black captain got beat up or got hit twice but the reality is he's still sleeping with her because she wants to and as guys, we got to understand that in this life, we're going to do some things for women and stand up for women who are not going to stand up for us. And it's been times that folks stood up for us and maybe we didn't stand up for them. And that's just pretty much how it works. So it doesn't make it a bad thing. It makes it a realistic thing. And that don't mean you got to start hating everybody or hate all women or anything like that. But if a woman disrespects you like that, you don't have much of a choice but to let her go. She showed you who she is and you should be thankful that she did that. Now it's time to get her up out of there and move on. Do what you gotta do. Guys, what do you think? It's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I really appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe to the bell. We're out.